so we're doing vlog number four uh, for this weekend. So we just got back from Norfolk, and this weekend we are, um, it's Friday, so tonight we are at the Baron of Tap, uh, and then tomorrow morning, um, I'm just, this is why I'm packing up the car now. Uh, five, we leave to go to Killarney, uh, so from here, two and a half hours to Anglesey, Anglesey, three hour ferry to Dublin, and then Dublin to Killarney is about three, four hours, so we're gonna be doing that for a wedding tomorrow night. It's an Irish, Argentinian, German wedding. So we're there tomorrow night, finishing at midnight, and then a quick scoot back to Dublin to catch the ferry the following morning at eight, which will be Sunday morning, and then Sunday night, it's been Manchester for uh, yeah, Anthology in Wilmslow. Um, and then day off, and then Tuesday, we're back in uh, Scotland at Lockerbie. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So this is gonna be vlog number four. I'll be filming it as I go. Um, See you on the other so, side. All right, so we just got back. Um, so I'm unpacking, cleaning the car, sorting everything out. Um, and what I do, I just show. I thought I showed up, but what I do? Every wedding is different. Every show is different. So this weekend I've got to get ready for pack the car for three shows. So what I like to do is I get everything out um, and start from scratch. Mainly like this is this is, <coughs> is the main bag. So um, I'll get everything out. And I'll go through it all, make sure I've got it all. Because uh, there's it's only ever once I turned up and I, I, I forgot my mic stand. Uh, something really, really ridiculous. And luck, luckily I knew a friend nearby. So anyway, so what I do, I strip out the bag, line everything up, get all my bits, make sure everything, <coughs> make sure everything's in one piece. Um, and then choose, put all the leads back on the hangers and the drawers. I choose the leads that I need for the different size of venue um, and make sure I've got double of everything. Um, lots of extension cable reels probably, because you never know what you're gonna... I try and find out what the room's like beforehand, um, but you never know what happens. So I try to take excess of everything. So we've got the lead bag, kit bag, um, and then we've got the, the little PA, because it's a small little foyer. Uh, we're gonna, just gonna take the gig bar, the Charve gig bar, which will be over there. Um, it's pretty simple, long journey, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, DJing and uh, like an, with the upbeat set. So I've got the instead of DJ booth, I've got the workstation. So tomorrow when I get there, I'll run you through the setup. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing now. Just so stripping down the bag, making sure everything's in one piece, make sure I've got everything. And we're all good to go. So yeah, let's get packed up, get ready for tonight. Morning. So it's. Uh, uh, quarter six, uh, we just better jump in the car and head to Hollyhead, get a ferry to Ireland. It's a beautiful morning, check that out. Yeah, right, we better get going. Let's uh, see how this goes. Right, we're about 10 minutes into the drive. I don't know if you can hear that on this. Basically, we've got roof racks on, uh, roof bars, and uh, Exactly 60 miles an hour, they whistle. <laughs> so I've got, it was just, just the right speed to be going on national speed limits. Uh, so, you can hear that? Anyway, so I've got an accompanying whistle for the next however many hundreds of miles, which is great. It's not going to be annoying at all. There you go, that's an interesting little fact for it. Well, this was before I find a period of cold Faded souls Stuff from all the love I tried Look away from this cycle To a period of Okay, so it's half 11, about half an hour away from Ireland, which is there. Going up in Dublin, and I'm in full. There you go, yeah, quite a nice day. So, uh, go find the car at some point. Jump in the car and try and find. Uh, I've booked a hotel 
Say Hotel, a guest house uh, near Limerick, about, it's about three hours away from Dublin. So we're going to go and try and find that. Uh, yeah, carry on the journey. I guess better to have the Chang Walianu Len Jira and the Mowana Shan Foster. Nash Maris and Lu Tadu Shuk and Divin U Foster, Lugaska, Nakwal Shalta, Akla Kopla Shakhtin, Oran Gallant, Gaelic, Gazgailaha, Lesh and Dalta, Agus and Torani in Taju. The radio is broken. I guess better to have the Chang Walianu Len Jira and the Mowana Shan Foster. Nash Maris and Lu Tadu Shuk and Divin U Foster. Okay, so it's five to six. We're finally on the way to the venue. A little stop off at uh, Grandma's hotel. Um, I've tried to get some sleep. Um, don't, I'm not really a day sleeper. Um, just because I know later on I'm going to finish at midnight, um, and it's going to be an hour and a bit back to that hotel. Um, so I might get back for two, but I'm going to leave at four. So I know like tonight I'm going to have two hours sleep until I've got to drive to Dublin at about four to catch the ferry. So I tried to get some sleep. Didn't really work out that well. I had a shower and stuff, get myself sorted out. So it's back on the road. Let's just get on with it. We need to just crack on. So yeah, we're on the road now to uh, Loch, Loch Lean Hotel. I don't know what I did that. Loch Lean Hotel, I think it's called that. Um, to get set up. There I am, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's go. But it's nearly over now, and now I'm crazy. In those days, the signage was a long campaign. Okay, so we're set up, it's half eight, we're in the venue. I just fed us, it's great. Um, so it's a really lovely uh, country house. Um, it's, the, it's the little mini setup in the foyer. The wedding breakfast going on there. Um, 
Let me spin it around, because um, I've got half an hour in the first dance. Right, that's me. I'll move that in a second. Having the wedding breakfast in there. Small. That is 40 guests, so I've got a little set up today. Which kind of looks like this. They wanted it sparse, so we kept it sparse. ADJ Starburst uh, JBL EL1 Pro. Shall I gig bar? Just for, again, because it needs to be small, low key. Subtronics. Um, yeah, I've got this little magma workstation. Um, that's pretty much it. Stomp box and that as usual. Um, yeah, very different one, this one. But that's the setup today. Oh. Okay, how is everyone feeling this evening? If we can have the bride and groom. We can have the bride and groom over on, over on this side. We have the groom. The groom looks ready. He's got his dancing shoes on.
so it's a uh, quarter to 12. Just finished in there. It was a really lovely evening, actually. And it's sort of only 40 people um, in this really lovely little hotel, but they were, they were really up for it. It was really good fun. So I'm going to get packed up, head back to the hotel for a couple of hours sleep for the ferry. So that'll be it for tonight, I think. I won't film packing up, won't film anything else. I'm going to just try and stay in one piece. Uh, an hour drive back to the hotel. So yeah, good. Right, let's uh, see what happens next. Okay, it's half four. Um, I've had, can't have done it. I feel I might have had two hours sleep ish. Uh, there was people in the hallway like it's Saturday night, um, just drunk and making a racket. So um, yeah, got back at half one. Yeah, I might have done. Who knows? Anyway, look, I'm on the road to Dublin now. Uh, it says two and a half hours. Um, yeah. <laughs> I suck. I'm hysterically tired, uh, but I've got some Red Bull um, and I'll just see what goes on. Just, uh, I'm not making any sense at all, but um, this, is, this is super good fun. Uh, yeah, let's have to make it in one piece, see what happens. <laughs> Six o'clock. Um, we're about 45 minutes away from Dublin now. The sun is just about coming up. Thank God. Um, it's not been the most fun last hour and a half, I've got to say. Uh, minor disaster averted thanks to my sat nav redeeming itself. Uh, the motorway was shut um, and it took me off down the side road. And I was thinking it sent me off the wrong way again. And it wasn't, it was actually saving my ass, otherwise I probably would have been late for the ferry. So, uh, God bless Google Maps. Uh, yeah. 45 minutes to get to the port. Keep going. Okay, it's quarter to seven, and we've made it to <laughs> Dublin Port, believe it or not. There's the ferry there. I'm a little bit surprised I made it, to be quite honest with you. That was uh, pretty savage. Um, no, it's, it's virtually zero sleep and doing that drive. Um, yeah. Mm. I love a challenge and uh, I really enjoy this new business that I've got and how busy I've been. Um, and I think my uh, enthusiasm sometimes gets the better of me. I think this weekend is a good uh, example of that. Um, I seem, I do, I push things to the absolute limits um, and you know, you can't, you shouldn't do it. You, you shouldn't sacrifice your health or your safety. Um, and ultimately, I want to be really good when I do these shows. And 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 I, you know, and I, I am. I put all my effort into being really, really good. But I think maybe I should try and uh, limit the risky stuff that I've been doing. And I think this weekend's been pretty risky, just because of the lack of sleep and all the driving. Um, yeah, a bit of an eye opener. But it's, you know, it was good. The weather was really good. Um, and I wish them all the best in the world and congratulations um, yeah so let's see what happens now hopefully it'll be pretty plain sailing <laughs> hey what's happening so we are off to Springkell near Lockerbie in Scotland. It is Tuesday something and it's half past two and we're loaded up and we're off to do a small wedding in Springkell. We're going to be doing, believe it or not, a quiz to start with um, and then um, yeah, the evening. Some acoustic stuff, some DJ stuff, another small one which is really cool because the last one was really good so expecting good things. I think 26 to 30 people should be pretty good. Uh, so we've got a three hour jaunt up the M6. Uh, should be there about half five. So that's it. That's what I'm doing. Let's see how it goes. Rain.
Okay, so we're at the venue. This is the Spring Kill in Lockerbie. I haven't got a lot of time. It's been a little bit of a rush. Um, very quick setup. Um, so I'm going to take you through, show you what I've done, and then we've got to get on with a quiz. Should be interesting. So let's fling it around. Let's go for a wander inside. Speaker's missing because I'm going to be in the other room doing a quiz. I'll try and get some footage of that, but it's just a little bit, a little bit of a busy one. So yeah, let's get on with it. Let's see what happens. Right. Okay. So it is nine o'clock, and uh, we've done the quiz, which actually was quite good fun. I might take it up as a profession. I've had it as a package, so we are. Um, getting ready to start the evening. It's a big room for 22 people, um, but I'm sure it'll be fun. So we're going to be out there doing the first dance, my favourite song in the world, Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. Um, but we're going to do it. Um, yeah. That's about it. Just, uh, I'm going to try and film it, see how it goes. So uh, yeah, let's see, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so it's quarter past 12, finished. A little bit earlier than planned. Um, so, why, why, why are you making that beeping noise? Uh, <laughs> so um, yeah, a, bit, a little bit earlier than planned due to, well, I think the, the bribe is just feeling a bit, Feeling a bit rough, so they went off. They went off to bed. Um, it's a, it's a sm it's small. And it's only a little family wedding anyway. There's only sort of 25, 26 of them. Um, but they were really good fun. They were having a really, really good time. Another little one, the smallest, uh, smallest in, smaller than the one in Ireland. Um, but yeah, just really, really nice family. Really, really cool. Um, they had a blast. Um, and you know, she was very apologetic, but she you know, felt a bit ill and wanted to go to bed. But hey, look, you know, weddings can be like super overwhelming. You got such a big plan, uh, and you plan all the way up to it, and then it comes to the day, and you know it can be just like a release of stress and stuff as well. So, uh, so bless her, she was apologising to me, but she did obviously she didn't have to. Um, so yeah, we finished about an hour before, so now we've got three hours drive back. See if I'm going to make it. Um, if I don't, I will stop and you know get a power nap and then carry on. But it was it was good. They were they were, they were really good. So congratulations, you two. Um, thank you for having me, and yeah, that's it. I better get cracking with this drive. I should be back by maybe three in the morning. Wonderful. So yeah, so thanks for watching again. Um, I have added it to the other one because it was short. So anyway, see you for the next one, and I think the next one is going to be... I haven't got a clue, man. Right, see you again. See you soon. See you